Hello guys and gals, it is I Fear Rising, and welcome back to more Final Fantasy VIII. Okay guys, I have some splaining to do. <laughs> um, last time in my episode, I, um, I, I thought I saved, but I guess I didn't. I'm not sure what happened, but I, I might have not, I'll have to look back and see if I saved or not. But, I actually, last time I checked, or last time I saved before that was still as I was Laguna Kira some more the second time. Like right at the end I saved there, remember? And, uh, I had to do the whole part over again, but, the good news is, I, um, one of the last guys, like the robot guys, you know, do Soul Crush on Selfie and, uh, Quistus, or Kiros from Ward or whatever, um, one of them actually had the Aga spells, but, um, Laguna and Kiros were already dead, so I couldn't, you know, um, I can only get them as Ward, so I gave one of each to somebody, so, for example, right now I have, uh, I gave Blazaga to, uh, Irvin, or whatever, the second person, Thundaga to, uh, the second person. And then when I, um, I came here, I actually had Quistus and Selfie still, and one of the guys had Thundaga, so I just drew it with everybody. And then, um, the blue thing with Thundaravius, if he's level 30 or over, he actually has Tornado, and I draw that for everybody. So, I mean, I'm sorry I, you know, didn't show that, but I didn't know that I was going to, you know, have, you know, I didn't know that was really, an, you know, going to be a problem. So, I mean, I have all this, all this, you know, extra junctions, and I'll show you what they are, but, um, also people might be leveled differently. I really do apologize. I didn't think it was going to, you know, put me back all the way there, but, I mean, I'm sorry. But anyways, this we're going to go to the Tomb of the Unknown King. This place always reminds me of that one place, Legends of the Hidden Temple, that game, that TV show or whatever. This place is actually really simple if you really want to, um, like, uh, it, it could be really long, really short, regardless of how you want to play it. Oh, also, um, let's see, who has Diablos? Because whoever he had, Learn Mug, we find, no, yeah, let's get Mug on here. Yeah, that guy learned money. Here's already the ID number 26. So really, that's all you have to do here if you only want to do that. But as you can see, there's lots more to do here. So let's just actually explore. Now the first, our first destination is to go to the left. Right. Sorry. <laughs> want to go to the right? And it's one of those. It's like a dungeon crawler. Like, it's not. You're not always in the back since there's four directions. See, like how it's kind of hard to explain now. But like, if I came from the right. And I went from the bot like if, if I went from the right and then went back a room, I would still be at the right. I wouldn't be at the bottom still. It's like one of those things where it's like a perspective kind of thing. It's a very confusing place if you don't know where you're going, but this place can be very, very short if you really want it to be. But there are a few bosses here that are optional. Actually they give you a GF, which is cool. Alright. And I think this is the last one. Yep. And mind you, that red X is the locator, pretty much. It tells you where you are. It doesn't tell you exactly where you are, which would be kind of cool if it did, but it doesn't. Alright. Hello. Grrr, who's there? And we have a kind of boss fight. I'm not going to make the bio for him just yet, because, I mean, you do fight him twice, but one time is just like an enemy encounter. But he actually has... Oh. His name is Sacred, uh, he has, like, a few attacks, one of them is a constant heal, pretty much, and to avoid that, you actually want to, um, cast Float on him, which is why those two girls just, like, float, because they thought it was, like, impossible, but this is actually what we're here for, what I really want. If you look, he actually gives you life, and I'm actually gonna ca I'm actually gonna draw 100 lives for each person, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, that's 100 lives for everybody. Uh, <clears throat> you may notice that uh, Renoa, instead of having an attack, she has a mug. Now, the mug mechanic is weird in this game because, like, okay, they only have one item slot. So, like, they can either drop it or you can mug it from them. And it's a chance for both. And see, I, see he has nothing right now, so he doesn't drop anything or he can't mug anything from him. So that's, like, one of those things. So, I mean, yeah. And also, I mean, if you're any kind of strong like I am, and this will not squall, because it can't junction strength, but like, Urban and Renault are really strong right now, so like, um, his heal really won't, you know, affect much. 
So like, I mean, you can even with this heal, Squall cancels it out, and Ren Renoa and Urban just like deal extra damage to him. He doesn't have very much. He has like 5,000, I think. I could be wrong. Uh, plus, his attacks are pretty minuscule. They're pretty strong. See, that's it. I've really used for this fight. As you can see, I haven't used Urban all that much. <laughs> My bad. But, uh, I mean, he's a good character. Bastards, this ain't over. And he doesn't know word, bro. And that happens. I'm not sure what this does, but, eh, whatever. Okay, so now we actually have two more objectives in this place, and before we can actually leave. That wasn't the official boss fight. Oops. So, you know, see that thing on the top and the thing on the left? We have to actually go there and, uh, do some stoof. Basically, we have to go there and activate, like, a switch or something to... Because, um, here, let me show you. Hey, I got paid. Woo. Also, when it comes to me getting paid, I actually went and bought some supplies for this place. Or not for this place, but for just in general. Like, I bought some, like, a lot of Phoenix Downs. I mean, I don't really need Phoenix Downs anymore because I have life. Which, actually, when a junction, everyone's, um, HP to life. Oh. I thought life was better. Oh. Well. Damn, I thought life was better than Kiraga for some reason. Let's see. Oh, wow, that's... It's a lot worse. <laughs> Oops. Oh, it's good for vitality, though. So, put that on there if you have vitality junction. Which both these people do. But everyone does not. Because vitality and freaking spirit suck. Okay. Okay. So, if you keep going straight on the map, you should, you know... See that little house in the middle? Well, our goal is to actually lower a drawbridge to get to there. So, that's a whole goal of this whole area. So... Okay, see, now we're at the bottom, but we're not actually at the bottom, we're at the left. So we actually want to go left. But, um, yeah. Um, I actually have a question for y'all. Um, if you have, if you recently went to my channel, you might have noticed that, uh, I pretty much revamped it entirely. Ooh, look at that. Wait, no. This isn't the thing we countered. Okay, whatever. But um, you may have noticed I revamped my channel and I said some stuff like let's pop this guy, see what he has. Um Like you may have Ooh, what the hell? Turtle shell. I don't even know what that does. But um stop interrupting me. Freaking game. <laughs> um instead of I think I said in the later video I was doing horror games as well as this kinda is this game, I think it was at Turn Darkness and maybe Code Veronica. I was thinking about it. Like, I still want to do horror games, but, like, all my Let's Plays in this channel so far have been, like, Nintendo games, like, Super Metroid, Pokemon Yellow, Majora's Mask, Sonic 3. Like, just, it's, it's just been, like, not kitty games, but, like, lighthearted games. So I figured, until I get a bigger audience, I'm just going to do those kind of games, you know? So, I changed up my channel and my icon, if you haven't noticed. What is, okay, I want to see what Turtle Shell even does. Uh, where is it? There it is. Vitality plus 20. Oh, not bad. Anyways, um, yeah. I just want to keep it, keep it, like, you know, kid-friendly, I guess you could say. Except for this game, this game really isn't kid-friendly, but, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty dark, I'd say. But so is Majora's Mask, so you really can't say much. Am I at the right place? Yes, I am. Whee. A little bump in the road, like it's a little freaking you know, speed bump or something. <laughs> Okay, so you can encounter these things here too, but um, I think they're actually oh, they still have crappy magic. I'll kill you all. Like I said, I don't like getting the agas when it comes to like the um, like the elemental magic until uh, like until like fire aga and stuff like that. Oh, I saw those two moon pieces, nice. Because because like I said, there's no really way to get rid of magic, and I just don't want to waste it. But I mean, I could say the same thing for life and full life, but life is actually useful, but fire really isn't at all. Like, Thunder, Fire, Ice, Thundara, Fyra, and Blizzara aren't really all that great. Like, they're decent at Junction for this part of the game, but I like to going full out. Alright, so, if you have over here... No. It's over here. I don't want float. No. Can I hit this thing? I could have swore I could do something with this. Let's see. I think I have to touch this thing right here. Yeah. 
such as gate, it's like, oh my god, I don't know how that doesn't overflow, but, okay. Yeah. Alright, so, we have that done, but I don't know what that, how that helps, but it does. And then our next goal is to the one on the left. So, it's going to go straight twice. And as I said, there are enemy encounters here. They're not, they're actually pretty uncommon. Like, enemy encounters, you don't really encounter them all that much. I don't even have an encounter half for none on, which I can learn. I probably should learn that or attempt to, you know, actually. Let me go to my GFs and see. He is almost done with that, so I'll let him have that. She's almost done with that. Um, put strength bonus on, why not? She will learn. Hmm. Treatment's a pretty good thing. Basically, it's like remedy, but as, an, as a command. Okay, for you, I'll actually learn magic plus 20, because. Your magic, whoever you're, whoever equipped it to you kind of sucks, so when it comes to magic, that is, at least. So I want to do that. Yeah, this place can be very, very, very con- I went the wrong way. God. See? It can be very confusing, even for people who have played this game before. Okay, so, left, twice. Actually, like, three times. Uh, straight, left, straight. Okay. Straight, left, right, actually. It's it, See, this place is one of those confusing places, but eh, it's not that bad. Considering you only have to come here once, and it's like, it's an optional place. Like, you can come here anytime, you, anytime really. But it's one of those things, it's like, why don't you just do it now? You're here, you don't get like an airship until like, disc three. So it's like, I mean, why, why not just do it now? Get it over with. It's really easy. The bosses aren't hard. The mazes aren't hard. Okay, so. Touch this thing. I don't know what he does, but he moves it down to the floor. And it's the drawbridge goes, which that actually is our clue. The drawbridge is actually going down, so we actually want to go straight. Wait, straight, right, straight, left. Okay, so like I said, it's very confusing. Ooh, new enemy, the blue thing. I'm not sure. I think it's called like a blobber or something like that. I think I have their card. Let's kill the bee real fast, because the thing isn't... Want a mug? Because most of the time, regular enemies don't drop all that much good stuff. So let's draw... Who does he have? Just shell? I hate Oh, also, um, I got... You know how one of the, my guys only had protect... See, these things are really, really resistant to physical attacks, so... Let us use... What do I got? We can show these off, too, if they do. Oh my god, so epic. And he's dead. <laughs> See, look at it. That's the thing I don't like about this game is magic. Even if you have a squall is 100 plus magic, he has a really high magic stat. Even that only did 400 damage. It's like this is one of those games you just want to rely on freaking, you know, um, your attacks and your GFs and stuff and limit breaks. Cause like using your magic, I think that's why they made it so weak is so you can freaking uh, just junction it well right, without like worrying about it. Don't. The only magic I don't junction on purpose is a uh, Kira to cure with, and that's not even that great. But like, if you have a high magic stat, it still cures like 2,000. So, okay. But uh, we're almost done with this place. I will admit this board episode might have been a little bit boring, but I'm sorry. There's parts of this game that just get boring. And the drawbridge is up. So sweet. Let's go see what's up. Sorry, my freaking cat went out again. He's a Freaking troll. <laughs> Biggest troll ever. Your animals and little siblings. I swear. So, you, you go. You back again? Took it easy on you last time, but not this time. This time, my big bro's with me. Now's my chance to run away, man. Bro. Hello. <laughs> I'm a ghost. Not really. Big bro. Yeah, bro. Yo, bro, these guys crushed the tomb. Plus, they attacked me. Oh, really? They attacked you? Not bad. Okay, so one has trouble with caps lock, and one is afraid of the button. <laughs> I swear. Wow, so the elder is smaller. Yo, brother, make fun of us. Foolish little humans. I'll show you not to judge a book by its cover. Okay, so one's really calm, and one isn't. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'll take it. This is actually the boss fight with Minotaur and Sacred. 
I'll show the bios uh, accordingly. But um, yes, these guys aren't that hard. Um, Minotaur also has the healing thing, but instead he has double. Basically, he has the same step as him. Shell protect Berserk. He has double and he has life. So nothing all that crazy. Just go all out, really. Catch the cow a few times. You can float them if you want to, but I don't have float right now, so. I'm actually not going to hit them with Mug because I don't want to take their drops because they have actually decent drops. Just use your GF, you should be fine. Because I can use my attacks, but that could take a long time, so. I'll get to like 100 and I'll stop. I, don't, I feel like me, you see me hitting the button a lot, it's just like meh. Plus, Katsukata, we haven't seen him in a while. We haven't even seen Ifra yet, jeez. Or Diablos, or Siren, or she's their freaking abilities. Die. It's kind of funny, you see in like, the beginning of the game, right? Like, you see, like, that epic attack doing, like, 40. <laughs> I already killed them? Seriously? Bro, I lost. Don't kill him, please. Okay, so he isn't dead yet, jeez. So he's gonna die then. Mao. Yeah, like he has like a they have an attack together called like special Mao attack or something like that. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. But um it's like one of those attacks if you have float on yourself, it wouldn't hit you, but I don't know. I figured float's just an added trouble in this battle, not really necessary. And he should be dead. 2000, nice. Did I really have any resistances? I'm pretty sure. Okay, so he actually has a lot more health than I thought he did. Nice. <laughs> Derp. <laughs> Alright. Here's it for the first time. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if I showed this yet. But. I'll boost. Yeah, that's different. <laughs> that's pretty epic. For, you know, the third GF you get the game. Wow, he still isn't dead yet. I give him props for being so resilient. Die. That's nothing. Okay, so they don't have anything anyways. Alright, so, just all our attack. Bam. If you really want to, you can rely on the breaks in this battle. Just, like, let them hit you a lot until you get low HP. And then, yeah. So I guess I don't really have anything. I guess I could have attacked with Renoa, but oh well. Ow. Die. I hit you with my gun. I think that would hit more, but oh well. It's one of those things like how does like how does junctioning magic make your gunshots more powerful? Oh well. Okay, we're not getting really <laughs> we're not really making much progress here, let's do another GF. Come on. Oh, Angela Rush. What the frick? Yeah. I love Angela Rush. It just, it just, later in the game, it can do a lot, but for right now, it's not really that great. But I mean, that I can say that for anybody, really. Okay, so. If you want to, you can cast Berserk on Urban. To get. That's what Berserk does, basically. It makes it so you can't control him anymore unless he casts Insuna. And it doubles his attack power, and I think it speeds him up a little bit. I'm not sure. But, like, if you're gonna, like, if your character's only gonna attack, then you might as well just cast Berserk on him anyway. Faster and more attack, you know? Wow. Okay, the brother is defeated. Mighty ones. May we join you? Oh. Oh. I see how it is. You lose, like, oh, I'm sorry, can we join your posse? Lol. Okay. So we get G High Potions, G Returners, and Sacred Card. Nice. 40 AP, we get all that kind of stuff. And we get the GF Brothers. Confirm. Oh, hello. You are quite the powerful ones to have defeated the two brothers. Thanks to you, I'm now free from this cramped stone coffin. However, there's something I have been thinking of for a very long time. Is it really necessary to entomb those traveling to the other world? After such a long and tiring journey through life, that's a good point, sir. I mean, we received the Minotaur cards. We get both the Sacred and Minotaur cards. They're actually really good. I would say they're pretty comparable to the Ifrit card. 
So, um, that's really all we have to do here. We head back to Dilling City. Alright, so I'm actually call the video after we get back there because this episode's gone on for a little bit too long. Alright, so what's that? ID is like 26, right? Yeah, 26, okay. You wanna make sure you remember that, because that's the only thing you are required to do in here. So really, you can just come in here and leave. But, optional side quests are awesome. Because, I mean, eh, why not, right? Okay, so let's go back to Dilling City, and we'll call it an episode. Make sure I freaking save this time, jeez. That that bothered me a lot, because like, it, like, it took me like an hour and a half to get back to where I was going to record last night. But no, I had to freaking wait, you know. I had to play it again for an hour and a half. Okay. Um. No level ups. Let's see what. F see, Brothers is where you're supposed to before you get Diablo for some reason. Okay, here's what they have. They have. They already have the HP plus 20% um, junction, which is good. Actually, you know what? Do I want to give it to Squall because I want Strength Junction on him? I mean, I guess I'm not really going to need to have Strength Junction yet anyway. I'll give it to... This is one of those things I wish I can grind a lot. Because I want... Because it has HP plus 20, and it has HP plus 40. It also has HP plus 80%, which is amazing. Because you can get like 9,000 HP before the end of the first disc, technically. But, um... I'll put strength. I'll give it to... Who has... Uh, he has to... I give it to him, and I'll put I'll put HP plus twenty because really he has already too much magic as it is. <laughs> so he only lost ninety, or he only lost like ten. So really, let's go to strength junction. Okay, so it already is. Sweet. Does he have what else does he not have? Junction. Okay, so it's perfect. So he'll have all five. So two of the people in our party will have all five. Nice. Okay, here are those enemies that I saw. They have uh, Blizzaga and Tornado. So, I mean, they probably won't have it now. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Let me break shot. Oh, I already read this. I really, I didn't play as Urban at all. Do they have anything? Oh, no. I didn't see. Bam. Okay, he has Blizzard and he has Blizzard. Um, when they're level 30 and uh, to 100, they actually have their max level of magic, which is, I think, Blazaga, Arrow, Float, and Tornado. So, that's their max. Die. Here. But yeah, um... So yeah, that's pretty much what... How I got Tornado so early in the game. You're not supposed to get it until, like, a good... A decent chunk in the way into this too, so that's good that I got that. Because I'm successfully breaking this game as you might have seen it before. Okay. So. Then we have dance. Let's go back to dance. Come on. Seriously? Freaking roll map. I wasn't talking there, I was letting in my cat again because it's a freaking troll. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's continue on. Jeez. <laughs> Alright, so we're back in Dilling City. Um, let's go give that code to that guy. 26, right? I think that's right. Because I'm just kind of less dexic sometimes. <laughs> okay, uh, which way do we go? I think we're going this way. No, this way. This is probably one of the biggest cities I get confused in when it comes to stuff. And the wrong way. I think we can go this way, though. Screw buses, I'm warning. Cause I don't have it. I don't have it like an endurance meter in this game, so I can just run forever. Are you serious? I think it's this way, actually. Yay, changing blurriness. I don't know what you call that, but it's pretty awesome the way they do that. Alright, here we go. Yes, what is it? Where did you answer? Ones is six. 
This is really confusing. Like one, six, two, zero. Twenty six. That's correct. Head this way. I actually guessed that once. So it was funny. I was like, I don't know if I go in there. I'm just gonna guess it for a while. It took me like ten minutes, but I got it still. <laughs> Both Balab and Galadi Garden are joining forces in this in general with the Galadi army. Why? No point in me thinking about it. These are my are meant to question why. So there's Prince Gamanda's dog, that makes sense. Um Is my contract still in effect? What is it this time? Don't leave me in this house, okay? Want me to explain why? It's gonna take a while. You should know by now. Just tell us what to do and we'll do it. Okay then, thanks. So I think I'm going to call the video here because I've actually done too much in this episode already. So this is Furious and signing off Final Fantasy VIII. Thank you very much for watching. Please like this video, comment this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Bye!